Right guys, Jet Maniac Masks. Thought I'd do a little bit of Instagram TV today instead of trying to cram it all into a one minute video, which is more than annoying. But uh, hey, what can you do? It's quite a cool little gimmick they've added to the app now, so I'm going to use it. Um, Casey Jones, Hockey Mask Blank, pulled that one off today. It's looking absolutely crystal. Pristine, that is. There's not a flaw on it. Really, really happy with that one. In fact, I've got a couple of those. I've got the Brandon James screen mask that everyone's been asking me to do. Um, obviously, it looks weird at the moment because it hasn't been painted. I mean, I've got to do the mouth. I've got to pull the mesh in the eyes, the straps. But, you know, it's going to come out hopefully looking pretty awesome. It's a uh, 3mm clear Petchy plastic as well. I've made all my masks actually in Petchy. I think it's absolutely awesome stuff. It's sort of pretty much indestructible. I mean you can really kick it around and not a lot will happen. Um, it's really good to... Uh... You could probably use it actually for sports. I mean, not that I would endorse that, but I reckon you, you could probably could. This is a uh, Happy Death Day mask. It's came out absolutely lovely as well off this new vacuum former I've got. I'm using latches now on it. I've got some of that seal that you use in hot ovens. It doesn't melt and it um, just keeps the air from escaping. This is the uh, Jason X Hockey Mask Blank. This is a 3mm clear pet G as well. Um, this is actually the same mask pulled off the buck that I made with that and that's some white hips it's only a one millimeter and look at the details it's brought out it's absolutely stunning I mean you know I actually feel like framing it I, I just really 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 like it when uh, they're like that I mean it's almost like great with a frame on it it's pulled so well I mean it's captured every single little nick, especially the cheek damage there. Here we've got some part threes. Now these are two millimetre clear pet um, in the movie, but to be honest, I like my masks to feel you know, weighty and heavy. And it's not much of a difference a mill, but it really, really does feel like such a better quality mask. And it looks great. I mean, I've never had any complaints. I do use 2mm occasionally, but to be honest, I've built my frame now for a 3mm, so I think I'm pretty much just going to be doing that. I mean, this is what they look like when they come off the former before you cut them out. I mean, they're beautiful just like that. Oh, Hannibal. The Hannibal Lecter masks. Before they're cut. Actually, that's really heavy. This is a 3mm. I use a 3mm basically because of this long piece where the elastic strap goes through. Uh, it gets really, really thin and brittle once it's all been cut and sanded down. I mean, it needs to be quite thick. Even though it's a fairly transparent mask in the movie. Not having any issues with that. This one's the Remake 2009 Reboot, Derek Mears. Friday the 13th Hockey Mask. It's got the rounded off mouth. It's a nice heavy mask. It's, it's a lot bigger as well. It's actually one of my favourite masks to... Um, to paint that one. The bigger ones I use to do the part eights, part fours. Actually, this is only two millimeter. I try a couple of two millimeter, and they came out really nice as well. So yeah, a lot of uh, vacuum forming been going on tonight at Maniac Masks. And then I've got to paint these Your Next masks up as well, that's the next job. We've got quite a few things going on here.
it's all going on here guys anyway thanks for following her and everyone really appreciate all the support all the likes all the comments i try and uh, make sure that i reply to all of you all the time but you know obviously if i missed anyone i'm sorry but thanks really means a lot okay night guys